Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me Mark and in today's video I'm going to show you something absolutely amazing on the NES Classic Mini. Now if you watched my last video you would have seen that the NES Mini can be soft modded and you can add NES games to it. Now let's take that one stage further and we are going to add RetroArch to the NES Mini. RetroArch is a group of emulators that will allow you to play a bunch of different games from different systems. Go over to github.com forward slash cluster m forward slash retroarch dash clover forward slash releases and you will see the latest version of the retroarch with cores file now this is the one you want to import into hack g2 to allow retroarch on your nes classic mini it's really simple that's the beauty of this so all you have to do is click on retroarch with cores dot zip and wait for that to download. Once that's downloaded, open it up, and all you have to do, as per the instructions, is literally drop it onto Hackchi2. Within this RetroArch file, you will find the following systems available. You've got Final Burn Alpha, you've got Final Burn Alpha CPS2, that's for arcade. You've got Game Bat, that is for Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color. You've got Genesis for Sega Master System, Mega Drive, Game Gear. You've got Gloopin 64, which is for the N64. You've got PCE for PC Engine. You've got MGBA for Game Boy Advance. You've got Pico Drive for Mega Drive and Genesis, etc. And you've got SNES 9X2010, plus the last one there is Stella, which allows you to play Atari games. There is loads of stuff in there, and every single one of these works because I've tested them, not to within an inch of their life, and I'm sure there are games that don't work, but the games that I've thrown on so far all work. So all you have to do at this stage is hook up your NES Classic to your machine and follow the instructions. Then just wait and it will build the custom kernel image again and insert all those awesome things from the retro arch with cause file. So let's just skip through this because it takes a little while. I don't want you waiting there getting bored. So then when it's done, click OK and look at that. That is your emulators done. So now we need some ROMs, don't we? So for this video, I'm just going to show you a SNES ROM. And that SNES ROM is a very special game. To me, it is Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. So let's just drag and drop that. Once that's processed, click on Google. Not that. Click on Google and we can choose a cover image for that game. Click on Synchronize. And while you're waiting, drop over to Instagram and follow us, The Game Shed. And if you're still bored while waiting for your games to process, follow us on Twitter, at Game Shed. <laughs> Just a little bit of promotion there. So after that is done, click on OK and then head on over to your NES Classic. You'll see Super Mario World sitting there so beautifully. And let's open it up. And this is what it looks like. Doesn't it look lovely? So if you press start and select on your controller at this stage, you will get the retro arch menu. And within that, there is some settings. There is loads of settings. Uh, click on any of those and you can edit those settings. But you've also got the uh, loading cores, loading content, etc, etc. If you click on quick menu and then once you've done that, click on resume, you will go back to your game. That is all I've got time for today. It's a very quick video because it's so bloody easy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll be doing more of these. I will be showing you how to get the Mega Drive games working, how to get other games working, including the N64. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time.